good morning aspirant so today we are going to discuss uh, some most difficult problems of free radical as you know we were uh, running a series that is free radical pro series and in this series we have completed uh, the basic things about structure and formation about free radical and the third segment of our discussion is stability now before discussing stability uh, questions before discussing the questions uh let me give you a brief uh, intro or brief uh, you know brief understanding of how to analyze the stability of a free radical now generally we know stability order of free radical is 3 degree greater than 2 degree greater than 1 degree but i want to tell you for your sake of information that the last year in 2023 there was a research paper which was showing that they are experimentally proving that the stability order is basically opposite they are saying that uh, stability order is 1 degree is most stable and they have given some uh, data from dft also uh, dft also so but till now no book has published this order and if this is so then a whole chemistry you know should be changed but they have mentioned another thing also that this order uh, in the last uh, paragraph of that research paper it was said that though the order is reversed though the actual order is reversed actually but this does not affect the bond energy order this does not affect the bond energy order i will show you the actual meaning of this first of all car uh, free radical is c dot and this three bond it is basically seven electron species right and to compare its stability first you have to check uh you know generally checking uh, stability order we give first preference to aromaticity uh, then resonance then hyperconjugation then inductive effect but in case of free radical aromaticity you should not consider why because it is a seven electron species it will be always non aromatic why it will be non aromatic suppose i am giving you this example this 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 plus we know this is tropylium cation and this is aromatic six pi electron over seven centers so 4 and plus 2 but if i put it a dot here free radical then the overall number electron count of the system is seven whenever the free radical will come then it will never be an even number for being aromatic rule is 4n plus 2 for being anti aromatic rule is 4n both the numbers are actually even numbers but when a free radical comes then it generate odd number of system so this that will never be aromatic so aromaticity factor you should not consider while comparing the stability uh so uh now which type of group will stabilize this kind of uh, free radical you know seven electron system means it is electron deficient then you know very well that electron withdrawing group will stabilize this system isn't it no it is not so <laughs> electron donating group why because it is electron deficient so it need electron so electron donating group will stabilize but the fact is some electron withdrawing group also stabilize it for example cn for example co this kind of system they are electron withdrawing group and they also stabilize the free radical and that's the game now i will show you why uh, with the examples that's why the session name is most difficult questions okay so these are the uh, main problems uh, with the stability now before comparing stability one more thing suppose a b bond is breaking and giving two free radicals b dot plus a dot now more the stability you know if this bond if this bond is strong then this will not break easily to generate b dot plus a dot again i can say if a dot and b dot are very much stable then this bond is easier to break isn't it so we can say bond energy or bond strength proportional to 1 by stability of free radical why if a dot and b dot are very much stable then this bond will easily like to break 
to give that stable free radicals. So the bond easily break means this bond is weak. So bond strength will be bond energy will be lower. So bond energy lower means stability of free radical is higher. So keeping in mind those concepts which you have learned just now, try to solve some kind of question. First question for you, your task is to first note down the question and then pause the video and I will tell you answer, match that and learn from your mistakes. First question. Radical of toluene, which is A. This is the basically isomer of, uh, not isomer, the linear form of toluene. B. C. Which is D. Now pause the video, try yourself. The answer is A, B, C, D. Why? A have cyclic conjugation. Cyclic conjugation. Let me tell you how the conjugation actually occurs in free radical system. Suppose this is a free radical. And how conjugation will occur? One electron like this, one electron like this. Now what happens? Dot, dot, and here also dot. Now these two dot will combine. In this way, more the resonance, more the stability. Now it is a cyclic conjugation. B, it has linear conjugation. And C, it has cross conjugation, you know, both the sides, cross conjugation. So, you know, cyclic conjugation gives more stability and linear conjugation than cross conjugation. And D has no conjugation. It has basically hyper conjugation, seven hyper conjugation with plus I effect. So, this is the order. Now, second bouncer for you. Second question. Now, in this question, you have to compare uh, the bond energy. Compare the bond energy. HA. HA means this carbon and this HA. This bond energy you have to compare. Bond energy comparison means, you know, the bond energy, I have shown you the order, bond energy and stability of free radical is inversely proportional. So keeping in mind, try to solve. First one, this is A. Second one, which is HB. And the third one, it is basically HC. HA, HB and HC. You have to compare. Now, first try yourself. Okay, I think you have got your answer, but yeah, let me solve. Now, stability order will be, stability order, if I say the structure A, structure B, structure C, from here, what will form? If HA breaks, then the free radical I will have is nothing but, you no, know, this. And from here, the simple free radical, I will have this. And here, the free radical will be, this now it has a resonance it has no resonance it has no resonance but it is vinylic you know the free radical is on sp2 carbon sp2 carbon free radical is on sp2 carbon here resonance so b will be more stable if i compare stability order the question is bond energy order bond energy order if i track the stability order then b will be more stable then the question among these two, A and C. Now here the uh, dot or free radical is on sp3 carbon. sp3 carbon. Now which one will be more stable? You know in sp2 carbon, S character is 33% uh, and uh, sp2 carbon. And in sp3 carbon, percent S is how much? 25%. 25%. So more the S character means more the electronegativity. Here S character is more. That means electronegativity on carbon. Carbon electron carbon is more electronegative. Now this free radical is electron deficient species like carbocation, isn't it? Carbocation is a kind of 
carbocation is electron deficient and free radical is also electron deficient so free radical, more the s character it will destabilize the system isn't it so a will be least stable and see so that will be stability order so bond energy order will be simple reverse a c b that's a simple thing okay i hope you have understood it okay sorry i have to take uh, another page okay so i hope you have understood that now our third question is again compare bond energy compare bond energy h a h b h c now i want to teach you something more if some structure is given like this suppose it is given r so this means c triple bond c r now here one hydrogen is missing to complete the valency like this so this system means actually this but when the bond is like this r that means ch3 c triple bond c r okay now among these three compare a b c now pause and compare okay answer stability order will be b greater than a uh, sorry 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 this one b greater than a greater than c okay now why is the order so here the free radical will form it will be on sp carbon but in the first case it will be on sp2 car sp2 carbon here also stability will be on sp2 carbon but uh, now sp carbon it will be least stable there is no confusion but a and b you may be confused now both are sp2 carbon when the radical will migrate then everywhere in a it will get sp2 carbon so it will get sp2 carbon almost in all places isn't it so sp2 carbon means the unstabilizing factor for or destabilizing factor for free radical because this character is more so free radical is more prone to stable uh, or to stay on sp3 carbon so uh, in comparison to sp3 in sp2 carbon it is destabilized so in everywhere when it is undergoing resonance everywhere it is getting sp2 carbon that is destabilizing system so it will be lesser stable than b so stability order you know now the reverse order will be for bond energy bond energy order c a b i hope it's clear for you now let's move to next question next question is a simple kind of same kind of thing h b h t h a h c now it's your task to solve the stability uh, the bond energy order bond energy order i am writing the order you have to match yourself h a d c b so this will be bond energy order now let's move to more difficult part or most difficult part of this segment okay so last three questions we will have most difficult questions in this series now first question phenyl phenyl dot phenyl phenyl dot then uh, benzyl now your first question a b c d uh, the task is to compare the stability order okay have you tried if you have tried then let's move for second question 
Okay. First, let me give you the questions, and after uh, after that, we'll be discussed. Uh, we'll be discuss answer one by one. Okay. Now, next question is phenyl, phenyl, phenyl dot, phenyl, phenyl dot. Third question is kind of complicated. This one. This one. The fourth question is if examiner want to uh, make a difficult question, then this kind of concepts he or she may use. Okay, because this is the most difficult part. Here is phenyl dot. And the third question is C C N whole three. C C L three oh C C L three C H three C C D three A B C D A B C D now try yourself and we're going to analyze the answers. First one, the stability order is A, B, C, D. A has three phenyl ring conjugation and here those, uh, A has three phenyl ring conjugation and here uh, like the anion kind of thing we have studied in most difficult question series of anion. We have, dis uh, we have discussed the separate, uh, another phenomenon occurs there, uh, the phenyl uh, ring tiltation, etc. So here, no such thing. So stability order will be simple. A, B, C, D. A has three phenyl conjugation. B has two phenyl conjugation. C has one phenyl conjugation. D has no phenyl conjugation, but a uh, kind of conjugation. Not cyclic conjugation. It is extended conjugation. Now the second one. And it may be the most difficult problem I have. Uh, uh, I'm going to provide you in this series. Okay. The order is C, D, A, B. C, D, A, B. Actually, phenyl, you know, a little bit the single bond rotation can occur. This will hamper the free radical uh, conjugation a little bit, but that will be more further, more stable than B itself. Okay. If it, uh, and if it, if the phenyl, one phenyl ring gives 10 unit of stability, it gives 10 unit of stability, then here 10, 10, it may not be 10, it may be 2. Okay. So this kind of system. So here the locking system occurs. So for locking, C will be more stable. Uh, here three locking, three phenyl is locked. Here, actually one phenyl is not locked. Another two phenyl is locked. So C greater than D. Then among A and B, you know, A greater than B. I have explained that. And the last one, CCL3, CCN3. Now this CH3 and CD3, these are actually electron donating system, but CCN3 is electron withdrawing system. Now, as free radical is electron deficient, we know the electron donating group will stabilize its more. Among the four two groups, CN, CL, H, and D, D is most electron donating. So D will be more. And then C, then CL. But CN is electron will least in most electron withdrawing, right? So it should be least, but it will not. Why? C, C, N, whole three. Why? Because another thing you are missing. The triple bond N dot. This kind of conjugation will occur here. That's why it is more stable. So that's why I have uh, taught you in the first, uh, you know, in the first slide that electron withdrawing group sometimes can stabilize the system. For example, C, N, and C, O. That means from where conjugation can occur. So maybe CN is very much electron withdrawing, but it is providing conjugation, right? Conjugation to the free radical. So this is the reason. I hope you have understood it.